372 years. I'm not going to pretend that that isn't a long time. Sure, some turtles live to be nearly 500, but in my lifetime I have seen a great many things. Entire kingdoms have risen and fallen. Great evils have been born and vanquished. And heroes, legends have been forged in the fires of battle. I've watched it all from a safe distance. Do little more myself than tending to my garden, mastering the art of cooking, and making an honest living in my shop. A life similar to that of most turtles. We tend to keep to ourselves. I know I certainly always have. I have watched friends pass on peacefully, a smile on their face as they breathe their final breath, free of regret, free of remorse, perfectly content with how they lived their lives. Lives similar, if not identical, to mine. And yet I cannot shake the feeling that when my time comes, I will look back on my peaceful, uneventful life with the yearning, the yearning for more. If you will, think back as far as you can of every epic battle and great event that you can remember, of every name that you've heard in books and campfire tales. Is there a single torso in any of them? I certainly cannot think of any. Perhaps I wish for my story to be told, to the young turtles gathered around the hearth, the ones who are told thrilling stories of danger and adventure, always followed by an unfortunate postscript, that these lives are not lived by our kind. I remember seeing the eager, excited faces of the children droop upon hearing this. It broke my heart. I was told this as a child as well, but perhaps the lesson didn't stick with me as it did most others. Perhaps in 200 years from now they will say these lives are not lived by our kind, except for Barrow. Perhaps the children's faces will light up, their heads rising with curiosity. My story can be more than the old turtle down the road that sold soup and bread. It can give hope to the next generations. Hope that a turtle's life can be more than a quiet one within the village. Or maybe it will serve as a cautionary tale of why they should do just that. <laughs> I suppose my name will be forged in history either way. And so, I have decided to set out for that which is unknown to our kind. I set out for adventure. <laughs>